I just honestly, I've got so much admiration for Roy yeah. Keane, and it's and even even now, I have to say, you know, we we were in a, we were at the World Cup together, and like we spent a lot of time together, and you know, I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm, we're, we're really cool mates, and it's fine. And I remember there's one time I said, Roy, we go for lunch because we had breakfast, then we go for lunch, and then he said, okay, righty. See at one fifteen. I said, no problem. I've just got to do some stuff. Al, remember we was doing stuff, Al, when we was at the World yep. Cup. So I had to come and do that. And I said, I got there. It must have been one seventeen maximum. And I was waiting down there. And I, then I thought, where is he? And I phoned him up and he said, Roy, I'm, I'm in the lobby. What are you doing? He said, righty, what time did we start? I said, one fifteen. I'm just one seventeen. He says, righty, one fifteen is one fifteen. I'm not coming. And it's, and I said, <laughs> I laughed. Because I thought, oh, he's only messing about. So I said, how oh, nice, no, like, you know. OK, and he said, right, D, I'm not coming. And he hung up the phone. And I never saw him till the evening. And then as soon as I saw him, um, he done one of those, that cheeky smile what he's got, where he says, no, nah, right, D, you know, this is why. And he said, this is why Man United, this is why Man United was so successful. We done what had to be done on time. We done what we needed to do. And that what's made me think with Roy Keane is that to be under him, under his stewardship as a captain, he would take nothing in respect of failure. For me, that is failure. I love that. I love that. I think that's brilliant. To be early is to be on time. To be on time is to be late. And to be late is f***ing unacceptable. <laughs> I agree.